Here's another haul guys. I picked up some stuff from the Walmart Plus app. So I got um, a half a gallon of the Great Value milk. I got the taco blend. I opened up a bag, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in the freezer. A sour cream is the last real cold item. I did pick up some corn. So the rest of my stuff here, I picked up two of the non breads. I originally got the it was the garlic seasoned whatever non-bread and they didn't have it I guess in stock so they gave me these as a substitute so I guess that's okay I can throw some olive oil and um, seasoning on it they ended up giving me the brioche slider rolls so I'm going to request a refund because this is not what I asked for I asked for hamburger buns these are too small so that is going to go into the refund items. I picked up two potatoes. I picked up one of these small jars of ghee and I didn't have any butter on the shelf. So I wanted to put that on the shelf. I replenished um, for one of the sausage gravies that I used. Um, and so this is just a replacement of that. I also replenished one of my traditional refried beans and I picked up another one just to fill extra space in my pantry. And I picked up two of the peas and carrots. I picked up um, to replenish my green chili that I used for this evening. And then I picked up two of the pizza sauces um, for uh, my pantry. I picked up four of the mild taco seasoning mix. So there's four packets there and that's going to go in my stockpile. I uh, used one tonight, but I thought I'd go ahead and pick up four just because I didn't want to waste um, the delivery. And then I picked up four of the Jiffy pie crust mix. I've never used these and I think they're pretty good, but I picked up four of those because they were mm, not expensive, but I don't know how expensive or cheap these items are because I normally don't buy them. I did pick up a 96 ounce of the Bisquick giant size at June of 23. I don't know, that might not work, but um, hopefully that will last in the pantry. I picked up um, another set of mason jars, the pint size, because I've been using my pint jars to pressure can meats. I picked up a large 20 pound of the jasmine rice and I love jasmine rice so I'm going to throw this in the freezer and get that all the little creepy crawlies out and this is non-gmo which is great and it is from Thailand which is fantastic so that is going to go in the freezer and it's a very heavy bag it looks small but it's very big I bought this from Amazon I got the idea from our faithful journey and she gave me the idea to get this. And this is the complete guide to pressure canning because I wanna do some more pressure canning, but I don't grow food, but I would like to start um, pressure canning like potatoes and my dry beans that I have in my pantry. So I'm gonna use this as a guide. Okay, so I just went to the commissary and I picked up just a few items. This one actually isn't from the commissary. This is from a friend of mine. She raises um, chickens. And so she gave me six eggs um, to store. Just, I got some Asian style items and some pork chops and some hamburger meat and stuff like that that I need to either can or um, I'm trying um, to make um, chicken pad thai and I need to get some ingredients for it. So um, I'm a freak about chicken pad thai, love it and really, really um, want to make it and be successful in making it. So I'm going to try it out. but. For that I bought the tofu and it said to get the extra firm tofu so I picked that up because I'm not vegan but um, that's for my chicken pad thai. I just picked up some sesame oil because um, I, I want a little bit of variety with my oils and I think sesame oil is a nice one for Asian foods as well as really anything. I mean I love, I love sesame seeds so um, 
I got, this is the fish sauce that I picked up for the Thai. Um, it's, it's focusing on other items, but this is the, the Thai um, fish sauce that I picked up for, specifically for the chicken pad thai. Um, I do uh, enjoy rice, so I bought some rice vinegar. That's not for the chicken pad thai, but this is. It's the oyster flavored um, sauce, oyster sauce, and I think that is going to work. Um, so I picked that big bottle up, and it's got an expiration date of, I think it's next year, the year after, something like that. Um, 2025, wow, so. That is an expiration of 2025, so that's good. I picked up two of these cremas because everybody keeps saying and raving how good they are. So I picked two of them up from my pantry and they're good through um, 2023, September, but um, that should be good and shelf stable for a while. And let's see, um, there's some other items over here that I picked up for the chicken, chicken pad thai, but um, I, in the meantime, I did see another recipe for um, enchiladas and it requires black beans. So um, I normally buy the green enchilada sauce, but you'll see I bought the red enchilada sauce because the recipe required that. So I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna use just straight beans, not chicken or anything. I mean, I could probably add it, but We'll see. I'm not quite sure yet how I'm going to make it, but I picked up uh, two of the corned beef hash. These are really good, just like the picture shows. Um, a friend of mine, she got me into the corned beef hash, and I, I didn't think I would like it, but, you know, being in the military, I know I've had this, but I just don't remember the, the flavor, and the way I make it is really good. Um, these I found several months ago, and they're very expensive, but the King Oscar um, yellow tail, yellow fin tuna, this is really delicious, and it's got olives and pimentos in there, and it's an olive oil, and it's extremely delicious, and I picked up these because they're normally like $5.80, right? But I got $2 off, so it ended up being $3.80 for a 6.7 ounce jar. So, I mean, if you've got a big family to feed, it might not feed everybody, but you could probably make it stretch. So they're <laughs> extremely good. Um, I picked up two of these, the Hereford roast beef in a can, and I picked that, for my, picked that up for my pantry long-term and I'm not sure if it's good or not, but it's good through 2024, July. And so they weren't cheap either, but I picked those up for my long-term pantry. And then I also picked up corned beef, and these are for the long-term food storage, and this is um, less sodium, so I kind of wanted to pick some of these up for, that are long-term, not long-term, but that are less sodium. I picked up two boxes of the Orzo because I saw she's in her apron and she had a video with Orzo pasta and regular rice and then it was with pork chops and I'm going to make that because it looked really tasty. So um, I picked up some Orzo because I don't re remember ever cooking with Orzo. So I picked two of those up. And then I really love rice and I want to get a little flavoring on it. So I picked this one up at the commissary. It's just rice seasoning and it looked delicious. And I thought, well, you know what? Why not try it? So pick that up. And then I picked up two limes for the chicken pad thai. I picked up these. This is regular um, onion, but I needed garlic chives and they didn't they didn't sell them at my commissary so I just picked this one up just in, instead and I picked up some extra garlic um, I think I could probably replicate with the garlic chives but I'm not sure so I'm gonna try that but unless I can find them in the meantime the only thing that they didn't carry is the tamarind paste and I've got to pick that up through Amazon so I picked up some Fisher unsalted peanuts for the chicken pad thai. So I'll crush those up and then I'll sprinkle that on top of the chicken pad thai. And then as well for the chicken pad thai, I picked up the two um, bags of rice noodles for my chicken pad thai. And then here are the two big 
um, jars of the red enchilada salt. All right, here's the pork chops that I picked up. These are two packs of two pork chops. They're thick cut pork chops each. One is $1.98 a pound and the other one is $2.15 per pound. So I think I did a really good job on these. The total price on this one was $4.86 and this one was $4.47. So I think that's really good. And then over here, these are reduced 93% um, ground beef and these were in the discounted section of the commissary and I got these for $1.23 a pound so they ended up being $4.33 for about 1.23 pounds and this is 1.18 pounds and it's $4.15 at $1.18 per pound. So these were really inexpensive. These, um, sorry, I'm not even focusing. So these were really inexpensive. What I'm gonna do again with these is probably go ahead and um, reduce this down to three pint jars and get that into pints and put that for long-term storage because I don't wanna take up too much space in my freezer. All right, so here's the six eggs that I got from my friend. And again, um, she works with me, but I've known her f forever. And she does have a farm with chickens and she gave me these. They're, they're beautiful. And I'm gonna put those in my lime solution and get them in the gallon jar that I have. And I'm hoping that that will last um, through the year and I'm hoping to have good fresh eggs at the end of this year. So I'm not gonna to touch them unless I need them and they're there for me in the future. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just trying to venture out in some items that not normally would eat or make myself. I always purchase, but I'm trying to expand my cooking aperture and figure out how to make dishes that are good and since I buy these products I need to start incorporating them in some sort of regular diet. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed the video and got some ideas. This is what helps me when I go shopping these type of videos. So all right uh, look forward to uh, seeing you guys in my next video and again thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.